So the announced Xbox Keystone recently got cancelled due to its high price. They were planning on charging between 99 bucks and 129, but as the article states here, if the Xbox Series S is just 299, it doesn't make sense to have a streaming device that is priced over 100 bucks. And I agree, going streaming should keep things cheap. But there's a reason why the Nvidia Shield costs 200 bucks: video decoding. The Shield TV Pro has a custom-made Nvidia GPU that was designed to decode 4K video years ago during the Maxwell generation. It also powers the Nintendo Switch, but this made the price of the unit set at 200 bucks. The Xbox Keystone is in a similar situation, but worse. Let me explain. I made a video on Xbox needing to step it up now that Stadia is out of the cloud gaming race. I mentioned that one of the things Xbox needs to do, among other things, is add 4K. This is why Keystone exists. It's been confirmed, and if you notice in the comments of that video, John Bernard, an Xbox developer part of the Xbox ATG, left some comments regarding the state of Keystone and xCloud in general. Feel free to check out all of what he had to say, but I wanted to focus on the 4K part of what he mentioned. He starts by mentioning that 4K is a huge bandwidth cost. Yes, as expected. What's interesting is that they said they have H.265 and then brand new AV1 encoder decoder support, which reveals the problem. AV1 is a newer, open source method of encoding video. It encodes and compresses better than popular H.264 and 5 video codecs. The problem is that since AV1 is so new, it can only be decoded by the latest GPUs. AMD RDNA 2, Nvidia Ampere, and Intel Arc GPUs. This means users would have to have hardware equivalent to this just to decode Xbox 4K streaming. No wonder they haven't launched 4K yet. Sure, AV1 solves the bandwidth issue, but not the decoding problem on the consumer end. So this leads me to their current solution. John mentions they are working on a project called David, or DAV1D, whatever you want to call it. But they're doing this in conjunction with company Videolan, notably with the former CTO of Shadow, Jean-Baptiste Kemp. John mentions that the project is in early stages, but as of now, they're able to get 1080p video down to a one megabyte stream. That's super impressive. And if you thought a stream of 14 megabits per second was impressive from Brewsteroid, this blows that away. Now the bottom line is that they have to solve this 4K decoder issue. Now my guess is that they either have to have a cheap custom GPU manufactured to go inside of Keystone, or they can figure out a method of decoding with the David project. My money is on the David project to, well, uh, keep money costs down to a minimum. This is the reason why they canceled Keystone, for now. But to be honest, it's not really a cancellation, it's more of a pushback. They need a new version of Keystone that can decode 4K efficiently at a low cost on the hardware scale. That's what needs to happen. I might reach out to John directly to get better insight, or John, if you're listening, feel free to give us more info on the status of xCloud and Keystone. Now if you like this update on Xbox Keystone, feel free to give us a like. Also, make sure to subscribe and keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight, bummed about not getting 4K on Xbox Cloud Gaming.